Yeah, number two, we're coming in with, um, you know, it's a sudden change to the list, to be honest with you, because this guy has always been my number one. Um, and he's from, oh, well, you could say East Coast and West Coast, but I think most people know him from the West Coast because of how his life ended. But it was, yeah, you got it, Tupac. Tupac comes in at number two. Um, like I said, it's always been my number one because this guy was, um, I mean, he's number one in terms of a rapper that can execute every single topic in rap. I mean, if you want gangster rap, if you want conscience, conscious rap, if you want political love songs, this guy could do it all. But I think that's really mainly to do with Tupac being a, he studied um, arts, he went to art school, so he was an actor at, at heart. So he could he would always get into character and execute very, very well. But he's number two for me. Um, my favorite Tupac album, I would have to say, is uh, another one that most people don't pick is Me Against the World, his 95 album when he was locked up. You know, that album is like a soul album to me. It's so, you can feel that album so crazily, man. Like, you talk about um, Sh So Many Tears, that song, and um, man, uh, if I Die Tonight, that song, the first track on the album. I mean, the, the lines and the way he says it, the passion, you know, on that level, nobody can be like Tupac. On that level of, of that commercial success, nobody was able to put that much feeling and passion in his, in his, um, in his music. But um, it was a short-lived career. And not all his albums were amazing, to be honest with you, in my opinion. Um, but the last two or three were absolutely blazing and just as a rapper on his own being able to execute so many different styles of rap and um the content it's not really the it was he the best punchline guy no but as an mc mc isn't just about the lyricalness it's about the potency of what you say and you can argue he should be number one of all time but um you know, he comes in number two, the Machiavelli, the Don. Um, my favorite Tupac song, man, it had to be one of the, the 95 album. Um, it's a tough one, really. Um, I might have to say So Many Tears. You know, I think that song was just so powerful. Check it out. <laughs> 